Hello, this is Dustin, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Scenarios feature in Poker Snowy. So as you can see, we have Snowy open, and we're just going to go up to the top and click where it says Scenarios, and a blank slate for a scenario appears. At this point, we can select between a two-person table, six-person table, or a ten-person table, and you can also select what stake you would like from this drop-down menu right here. But for this demonstration, we're going to choose a six-person table at 1-2. And at this point, you can move the button around to where you would like that. And you can also choose, you can change the names of each player. And you can also change the stack sizes of each player. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. And in this hand that I'm going to go through, we are going to be in the small blind with ace-queen suited and we can just select the cards that we have from the card selection area down here. And now what we do to set up the scenario is we click the action for each player. So the action right now is on player one. We're going to click fold. We're going to click fold for middle position. And in this situation, we're going to have the cutoff open to three big blinds. So we just type in the bet size here and click raise. And then the button is going to fold. And now we're faced with the decision so we can see, see what Snowy recommends. In this situation, Snowy suggests raising 100% of the time, and the size that it suggests is full pot. And we're going to take that advice and click pot and click raise. And then the big blind is going to fold, and the cutoff is going to call. And so this is going to be a, a fairly standard situation. At this point, we're going to select a flop, again, from the card selection area down here. So we're going to choose an ace, eight, two, rainbow flop with one card of our suit. And now we're going to see what Snowy recommends doing. This is a spot where I don't necessarily think it's immediately apparent whether we should bet or check, but in this spot, Snowy suggests betting. And it's optimal bet size out of Snowy's options, which are half pot, full pot, and two times the pot, uh, is um, half pot in this situation which is what we're going to have our hero do, and the cutoff calls. The turn in this scenario is going to be an offsuit 10, and at this point Snowy suggests checking, which is what our hero does in this situation, and our opponent bets half pot, and at this point Snowy suggests calling, and again we can see the difference in EV of our different options down here. So we're going to choose to call, and the river in this hand is a jack. Snowy suggests checking again, which is, I believe, a standard. And we are faced with an all-in bet by our opponent here. And now we're faced with the decision. We have, you know, top pair on this board. And given the action, Snowy suggests folding, because calling has a negative expected value. So that's kind of how the hand plays out in this situation with all of Snowy's advice. I want to point out a couple more things. First of all, at any point in the scenario, we can change either our own whole cards and or the board cards. So for example, if we want to see what we would do on this river with ace-jack, we can just click on our queen and then click on a jack down here in the card selection area. And now we can see that we have a profitable call. Additionally, if we would like to change the river card to another two, then we're going to do that. And in this situation, we can see that we also have another call. Um, another thing you can do if you'd like to go back to any point in the game tree is just go over here in the scenarios area and right click. Let's say we want to go back to the turn. We can just right click and choose copy scenario. Um, and now a new scenario comes up where we can you know, see what happened if we had chosen a different action, for example, betting. And then uh, we're just going to have these scenarios available to, to switch back and forth between um, in this window up here. So I think that about covers it. Uh, this has been an overview of the scenarios feature. Uh, I find it useful for when you get into a situation you're not sure about at the tables. After your session, you can just open up Poker Snowy and input the situation and see what advice it has to offer. Thanks for watching.